All right, everybody. So let's talk about uh, some open lock parts real quick. I know uh, not everyone was interested in this, uh, but I did want to add it because enough people did say they did want it. So uh, yeah, I want to make sure I had uh, as much as possible so everyone could have as much fun as they possibly could and make as much cool stuff as possible. So we're going to jump back to that uh, base creator um, tab. We're going to click on dungeon tile over here. We're going to click on open lock this time, and that'll place the open lock base here. Here, um, I think this is the most recent recent version. Uh, but those of you that are more familiar with open lock will probably have a better idea than I do. So play around with this, and if there's a better version, let me know, or something that's easier to to work with. I think this is the most recent version. But either way, play around with it. Let me know if that needs to be changed. Uh, that should that can definitely be swapped out with something else so let me know um i will go ahead and add uh let's see i'll, I'll import another one just so we get some practice doing that uh, i got this bio lab uh add-on as well i'll have one of those let's see let's see what this one looks like that's kind of neat we'll uh we'll stick with that and uh, now we're going to go back to the Dungeon Tile tab. We're going to click on Wall 1. We're going to click on Open Lock. And so the op when you do Open Lock, it'll be a little bit different. Instead of placing the wall on the base, it'll place it off to the side on an Open Lock part. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, and again, some of these uh, walls might work. I, I noticed a lot of the Open Lock walls online were pretty... A lot of the Open Lock parts in general were pretty... Uh, pretty like uniforms. So a lot of the walls were pretty much like flat rectangular rectangles with a little bit of texture on them. So some of these walls where there's a little bit of, you know, more variation or they're thicker at the top than at the bottom might be a little challenging with open lock parts. Um, you'll still be able to get them to work, but um, yeah, I'll kind of give an example of that. Some of these uh, biolab walls might be a little difficult, but we'll give them a shot anyway. So yeah, as, as you'll notice, some of the open lock part might bleed through on the wall a little bit, uh, or bleed through the uh, the wall itself. On some of the sci-fi looking ones, it actually might add a kind of cool effect, but um, yeah, shouldn't shouldn't cause any issues with printing. You'll just notice it, and maybe you won't like that as much. I don't know, up to you. But either way, you'll want to look on the side and uh, make sure that the wall, when you adjust the thickness, make sure it doesn't you know bleed over into the base, because obviously that wouldn't be able to print, or wouldn't be able to connect afterwards, rather. So there's no real clear delineation between the base and the open lock part, but I think you'll be able to kind of tell that this is where the base ends, and this is where the open lock part ends. So do that. You can add doors to these as well. And again, I'm not as familiar with open lock as uh, some people are, so you guys need to test it out and uh, let me know what works and what could be better. Um, but yeah, you can add them pretty much the same way you did the other parts. Um, oops. Something like that. And uh, also keep in mind, um, I, I made it so that the open doors can cut out the wall. But if you slide them over too far, they're not going to cut out that open lock part. Because, um, well, you need that for it to work. So don't slide them over too far. It's not really going to work. So keep that in mind. Don't do that. Um, I mean, it'll still export it, but... It's going to be kind of useless as an open lock part, so keep that in mind. And, uh, yeah, I'll add one more. One more wall. Let's see, I'll add, uh, what should I do? Maybe one of these uh, castle crusader type walls. Yeah, and so this one was this one was pretty, pretty flat and rectangular, so this one would look pretty good. It's like an open lock part, I guess. Um, Maybe add a, a couple of windows there. Let's see. I'll add a uh, maybe I'll add a, a weird sci-fi door in case there's a weird uh, Knights Templar futuristic lab somewhere that historians just haven't discovered yet. But yeah, that's pretty much what those look like. And then I'll pull up. Uh, I should mention you can also you can kind of mix and match. So if you've added a couple of open lock walls, you can. Get a third wall and add, uh, I don't know, you can add it, uh, you can click internal or one of the other 
options and it'll add it on the base and if you click export in the end it'll export the open lock walls separately but it'll, it'll combine the walls this wall with the base so you can mix and match those i don't know if anyone does that or would have a reason to do that but you know the option is there i won't be doing that i'll just delete that and uh i'm gonna go to base real quick click open lock and uh, add a column now and um with the columns especially i think uh i feel like some of some of the columns definitely work better than others like if they're columns that have a uh, a lot of uh, range and aren't super uniform. Well, I'll place an example of what I'm talking about. Let's see, I think one of these sci-fi ones should be a good example. Like this one, uh, because the open lock parts are pretty much rectangular, some of that would probably bleed through here. Um, so you'll still be able to get it to work, it just might not look as nice as something like one of these guys. These ones look pretty good as open lock columns. And I tried to make a few, a few assets that were pretty uniform would work well with uh, open lock parts they'll all they'll all work fine with like the internal and um mirrored walls and stuff like that where it gets placed on the base um some of them just might look a little weird as open lock parts but this one looks good because it's pretty much uh rectangular and so for these ones uh same as before you can check this uniform width and thickness button and you can change the thickness and the width you can uh, change the height as well but yeah, it'll cut out, it'll cut off the sides so that they'll be flush with the wall here. Um, so these are all flat against the wall. Um, and it'll also, oops, I'll, it'll also cut out those uh, little open lock parts in the middle so that those will be usable. And so I think that looks uh, pretty decent. So I'm going to go ahead and click export. And when we do this, it's going to, oh, it's going to export everything separately. So we'll combine everything on each individual wall slash column, uh, and export them all as separate files. So I'll go ahead and click export right now. And you know, if you've built a bunch of things, it might take a couple of seconds, but yeah, now we're back here. So we'll pop into Cura and take a quick look at what we just did. Alrighty, so we're in Cura now. Here's the last thing we built. Let's get rid of that. And we are going to open up the most recent ones. And I know my screen capture software doesn't uh, record the file I've got opened up here. Um, but basically, you'll be able to tell from the name um, what's what. So it exported four different uh, STLs. One says tile, that will be our base. One says uh, open lock wall, well, two say open lock wall, and another says uh, column. So I'm gonna open all of those. And uh, yeah, that's what we just, uh, those are the things we just created. So you can print those out. And that's pretty much it for the open wall, uh, excuse me, the open lock parts. Play around with it, guys. Uh, let me know how you like it. Let me know if it works. Let me know if it needs work. Um, but it should be pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.